Hey everyone and welcome back to my weekly vlog. I hope you guys are super well and staying safe. I've been filming this morning as usual. Um, I filmed a spring, summer, 2021 kind of wardrobe update video which is already live on my channel if you wanna check it out. I've got some really cool pieces that I show you including this top from Depop. Um, also new nails guys. I've switched things up um, this week and I thought I'd just go for a plain colour. Um, I did some nails yesterday and I just wanted to get a few pairs done because um, yeah I was just a bit bored yesterday on Sunday and yeah Robin was a little bit hungover from the day before because he went out in London with his friends. So yeah we just kind of just chilled and I thought I'd do some nails and I did two nail art pairs but then also one plain pair and actually I kind of quite like this plain pair and I absolutely love the colour of the polish. And also the shape of these nails look really, really nice. Kind of did it a little bit of a different shape, kind of more of a coffin um, this time. But yeah, it turned out really, really well. Um, but yeah, YouTube videos live already and I've done a Reels and a TikTok, which is also live. I actually, uh, let me show you. I basically got this silk scarf wrap top bandana. Uh, it's basically like a, just a giant square. Love the colours and the graphic print. Quite retro. Um, it's actually from a black owned business called Vinsol. Um, I'll pop a link below to their Instagram. But yeah, I just did like a... Um, I don't know how many ways I did. But however many ways to wear this as a top. Because yeah, well as a top and also a bandana. Um, but yeah, I just thought it would be quite a fun... Reels TikTok style video to do. But yeah, I'm gonna go have some lunch now and we're also going to the gym today and we also need to go food shopping. Mondays are always just so busy. Oh, we just got back from the gym. That was hard. We did a leg workout today. Did dumbbell, not dumbbell, barbell. Barbell squats, Romanian dead. Barbell. Yes, a barbell. That's what he's called it, a barbell squat. Barbell squats, Romanian deadlifts, leg press, abductor, uh, hamstring curls. We did, we did the lot, we did the lot. Sorry, I just need to lean because I'm tired. Um, yeah, we were at the gym for just over an hour, I think, working out today. Um, feels good though, it's nice to actually work out in a gym and not at home. And we're doing something slightly different now because before, like last year, we were doing a lot of body weight workouts and body weight, um, you know, activities. We would do kind of hit circuits. Um, or we'd use like really small dumbbells. Like I'd have like a four kilogram and a two kilogram and Robin would have like a seven. Um, but now we've got a PT. We are doing it properly. Uh, so we're doing two upper body workouts a week and two lower body workouts a week. One upper body is at the gym and one upper body is with our PT and then one lower body is at the gym and one lower body is with our PT. But yeah, I will take you to the gym with us. I did take the camera today but I completely forgot to film. But I'll take you to the gym with us on Saturday when we do our um, upper body and just show you guys a couple of the exercises that we do. And the great thing is our PT's made us like a spreadsheet where we kind of uh, track all of our weights and our reps and we can just see the progress and compare from the gym to with our PT. Um, but yeah, so I feel like we're quite enjoying it now. It's really, really hard to get into. Like the first couple of sessions um, were, were difficult. So yeah, it's, it's quite hard. Um, it's tough to start with. But yeah, we're, we're slowly kind of... Um, getting used to this new way of, that is so loud, because the window's open. Um, yeah, we're slowly getting used to this new kind of way of working out now. We just would love to find something that's really sustainable for us and that we enjoy, and I think we're kind of enjoying it, and yeah, it's just nice to get out of the house now. Anyway, we deserve hot tub and pizza tonight. Mm -hmm. The weather is so nice as well. Just running myself a bath. Hopefully you can hear me over the water running. Um, I've been filming this morning and also had a little bit of a late start because we had to take Shadow to the vets. He is a poorly little boy. Um, wait, let me go out the bathroom just so you can hear me. Yeah, basically, it was really weird. So we took um, Shadow on a walk yesterday 
and we were just walking along the main road, like we've hardly got into our walk really, and he suddenly just randomly went a bit crazy and erratic and like was backing up, so like putting his feet down, just like moving backwards and just going a bit mad and we were just like, what is going on, are you okay? So like I grabbed him and I kind of, kind of pinned him to me because I was really worried he was going to get out of his lead on his harness. And then he kind of calmed down and I was like, are you okay? Like, what the hell? And me and Robin were like, what was going on? And then I let go of him and he started backing up again. And I was like, okay, so I grabbed him again and then he backed up into a bush. And I was like, right, are you okay? Like, calm down. Anyway, after that, we carried on walking and he was absolutely fine after that. Absolutely fine. So we were like, that is so freaking weird. Um, anyway, we got home and then we walked to Luna because obviously we walked with the dog separately. And then we came back and then we were in the living room and because we didn't walk them till quite late last night and he just would not settle he was so restless he was like trying to sit down and then being really uncomfortable and then getting back up pacing around and yeah and then kind of wanting a bit of attention but then not being comfy and he just did that constantly for like two hours so I was like oh he seems a bit off I don't want to take him I don't want to leave him downstairs overnight so I took him to bed with me and anyway we all went to sleep and because normally the dogs sleep in the kitchen but then Shadow obviously woke up in the middle of the night and he weed in the bed so gross bless him um and then he I heard him jump down and go into the hallway and then I went out into the hallway and there was like a little kind of wet patch on the floor and I thought is that sick is he weed again like it didn't smell like weed it was weird anyway so I cleaned that all up stripped the bed and then I, it was like four in the morning, so I thought, right, I'm going to leave him downstairs now, because he seems like he's just quite sleepy. Um, anyway, so he left them, and I went back down this morning, and he was just like trembling, wasn't really sure what to do. His back leg was a bit funny, like wasn't really lifting it off the floor. So I thought this is very similar to that time where he'd hurt his back. He's obviously in pain, but obviously we don't know why it's so difficult to read your pet when they can't talk, it's impossible. So I was like, I need to take him to the vets. Because I nearly took him to the vets last night, the emergency one, but we thought we'd keep an eye on him overnight. That's why we had him in our bed. Anyway, I took him to the vets this morning, they checked him over and they said like, he seems fine and he's doing poos and weasel fine. Um, but they said his back leg, just a little bit, we're not quite sure what's happened, but here's some pain relief. See how he is in like three, four days time. And if he's still not right, call us back and we'll go back in. So bless him, he's just kind of really being slow. He can't climb up the stairs, can't go down the stairs. I've got to carry him. And he's just he's just being very fragile today. So yeah, poor little big boy's hurt his leg, I think. But but now I'm, I'm thinking it's his leg. Every time I watch him try to sit down, he's obviously sitting on that leg because that's obviously his side that he likes to sit on. And every time he goes down, he'll sit and then he'll get straight back up. So it's obviously uncomfortable for him. He's had pain relief in the form of an injection today. And I've got some medication for him. But yeah, poor little boys. He's not he's not doing very well. So hopefully, fingers crossed, he gets better in the next few days. Hey, your mummy's poorly boy, aren't you? I know, mate. You can't get comfy, can you? This is kind of what he's just been doing. Like, he'll sit and then he just moves because he can't get comfy. I think it's this leg. Because that's the one he kind of tends to sit on. Oh, poor boy, aren't you, mate? I know. That's it. You, you try and get comfy. Hey. Oh, mummy told everybody what happened. I know. He's not himself. It's really sad. Guys, just had an Ocado food delivery um, because they sell Little Moons and they've got so many flavours on there. A lot of them were sold out, but managed to get the coconut flavour, passion fruit and mango. I actually got two boxes of those. Um, pistachio and Belgian chocolate oh my oh my god all the boxes all <gasps> the boxes so exciting morning guys i am in the bath but i just got sent this new kills deep pore cleansing mask called rare earth and i thought because i'm jumping in the bath i'm doing a makeup look today i thought i'd try it out so it is a 
um, intensely purifying to minimize pores mask with Amazonian white clay. It comes with this little kind of, not brush, but like this little applicator. So I'm just gonna open it up and see what it looks like. Ooh, I haven't done a clay mask in ages, so I thought I'd do one. So we apply a thin layer to clean, dry skin, avoiding the eye area. So let's get this on. Definitely gonna do my nose. Got some deep pores on my nose that hopefully this will help. Feels really nice and like creamy though. I mean, hello. Feels really nice and creamy though. Okay, and then the forehead. Cool, all applied. So now I'm gonna leave that for 10 minutes, it says. And then I will gently remove using warm water and a wet towel and pat dry. And it says recommended for once or twice a week using it. So um, yeah, let's see how my skin feels afterwards. I'm hoping my makeup's gonna sit a bit nicer on my face. Time to take it off. So I'm just using a flannel and my warm bath water and then I'm going to hop out and start filming. I've got a makeup look to film today for Instagram. I've got some inspo. I feel like I'm going to match my hair. Why not? Very Sophie Hannah. But yeah, I cannot wait to see what my skin looks like up close. Okay guys, so I just washed the mask off and I've patted my skin dry and it feels amazing, like so soft and it just looks really, really clean. All right, so I'm just moisturizing, obviously after I've done the mask and then we're gonna see close up what my skin looks like, but it feels amazing. I'm also gonna do my gua sha as well because I'm still doing that. I really feel like I've noticed a difference doing that though. Okay, I feel like my pores look super cleansed. Love that, my skin feels amazing. Just finished filming this makeup look, which I'm honestly frigging loving. I'm loving this glossy blue lip. This is a vibe. I feel like this is like such a Sophie Hannah iconic look. Um, the blues and the greens. Also love how it matches my nails. So cute. I actually just had, let me just get it, this braiding hair, which I plaited and I did as like a high kind of plait um, pony. Uh, it looked really, really cool. But yeah, the glow up is on my TikTok already. And I think the tutorial's coming soon for Instagram. Um, yeah, I did like a sing-along tutorial, but I'm so pleased with how it turned out. It looks sick. Love it. Um, I'm gonna take it off now and have some lunch, and then I've got counselling in a bit, and then, yeah, the rest of the day is pretty chill, to be honest. I'm gonna do an ab workout today at home, and um, also, I'm gonna buy a new camera, I think, because I feel like this camera is good, but I just feel like the focus just isn't quick enough. Sometimes it gets a little bit blurry. Sometimes I'm out of focus, which you guys can probably tell. So I feel like now I'm vlogging every day again. I feel like I'm going to invest in a better camera. So I feel like I'm going to buy the Sony Z... Z... Something one? Can't remember what it's called. But yeah, I feel like I might buy it. I feel like it'll be a good investment. I think I'm going to do it bit of a random decision but we thought we'd stroll into town and see if we can go and get some lunch and sit outside because the sun is shining and it's just a really nice day guys we've just come out for lunch and this looks insane look at robin's cake show us your cake we'll it's like a up. proper slab it's ridiculous yeah looks so good right let's tuck in oh just got home i'm so stuffed that was so nice just eat out for lunch in the sun and oh the cake was unreal naughty but unreal um yeah just really nice just get out i just need to get out of the house had a bit of a low day yesterday so yeah 
I was just like, we're being, should we go out for lunch? Yeah, let's just go. Um, it's nice to just be, be like a little bit spontaneous again. Um, I did think we weren't going to be able to get anywhere. Um, because when I had a quick look on Google before we went into town, everyone was booked, but we managed to find like a cute little cafe and it was, just, and it was perfect. The food was amazing. So yeah, I'm back home now and I'm just going to do some emails and I'm all ready for the gym because we're going to go to the gym in a couple of hours and then I might make myself a nice iced coffee and sit outside because the weather is actually so nice at the moment and if you guys know our garden, it gets all the sun all day, which is amazing. So yeah, oh, just back to the grind now just made one of those whipped iced coffees it was trending on tiktok last summer i kept making them all the time last summer and i don't know why i kind of just forgot how to do it and then i just googled it and made one. Oh, i can't tell you how good it is oh sat in the sunshine i'm gonna do some emails got my notebook gonna do some planning i've got some things to think about for my sister's hen party which is in like six weeks time oh my god this is just too good oh it's delicious um also sorry if the sounds a bit weird i just realized that my mic wasn't plugged into my camera so it was still using the sound from the actual camera but just ordered my new camera and it comes tomorrow so hopefully in next week's vlog i'll have my new camera and i'm hoping that it's going to be way better than this one um yeah i did like a i watched a youtube video of verses so i bought the zv1 by sony and i watched a verses with the canon g7 x mark 3 which is what i'm filming on right now and the quality just looks way better the sound is better so fingers crossed we're up in the game with the vlogs hey guys i am taking the day off work and i am going to london because I'm going to meet Paige and Charlotte and I have not seen them for six months. Maybe even longer actually, maybe it's seven months. I've literally not, I don't think I've seen them since my 30th birthday party last year in September. How mad is that? But I'm so excited, we are going out for lunch and I'm finally gonna meet baby Leo, Charlotte's baby. He was born just after my birthday in October and I've still not met him and it's so sad, but I'm so excited to meet him today because it looks so cute. My makeup is <laughs> oh, so awful because of the mask wearing. Please ignore this. Um, I'm home now in the car with Robin. We are picking up a McDonald's, which is a little bit naughty because been out today eating and stuff, but it's all good. Um, it was so nice to see the girls though. So nice to meet baby Leo. He's the sweetest thing. He's so like smiley and yeah, I thought it would be weird like seeing Charlotte with her baby because that's the first time I've seen her as a new mum but it wasn't at all like she looked so natural and yeah it was just so nice being out in the sun like the weather is amazing and yeah just just catching up it honestly has been since september last year that's how long it's been since i've seen them both so they had a lot to catch up on but um well i mean we've been talking obviously um over dm and stuff and a few facetime calls here and there but yeah it was nice to just see them face to face today in the flesh and yeah it was just nice to have a day off work i have to say and just actually do something normal london was fairly busy um and i was a bit worried about the tube but actually everyone kept their distance on the tube it wasn't overly busy at all the train going up was fine um obviously like it, it's a long period of time wearing a mask but you kind of just get used to it the heat on the central line was a little bit tough coming home and i have to say i really did notice my um back on the central line like standing still for a long period of time i cannot do with my back like it just gets a bit sore that was something i definitely noticed but 
other than that yeah the actual journey was was fine and yeah the only thing was there was a guy i told you didn't i on the train on the way back being like guys everyone i'm not wearing a mask i don't want to wear a mask i don't believe in it and i was just like why are you saying that but yeah it was the weirdest thing it was like an anti-mask wearer i'm just like just wear a mask like or don't or don't yeah I, I, literally he said to me can i wear one i said look you do you like i'm gonna keep myself safe by wearing a mask if like yeah, i just why have you got to make a point yeah it's but that's what i mean it's like he wanted a conversation i don't know yeah, whether he was yeah. drunk and then this other woman got on and then he was saying to her about mask wearing and bless her she was just like just wanted to keep herself to herself mm. but yeah it was a bit awkward but anyway apart from that journey was absolutely fine um and yeah now i'm thinking Yeah. I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could have done more than I did not. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. People fill you with doubt, you start thinking about what you're gonna do now. But uh, we only got one chance and got one life to live. And it's do or die, gotta make it. I'm laying on my back stretcher. My back is feeling a little bit sore today after doing a Romanian deadlifts the other day. So I thought I would just take some time to just relax on my back stretcher. It's quite painful. But yeah, I'll fill you in in a sec about the gym. If you're wondering what a back stretcher is, let me show you, I got it from Amazon and it's meant to help with lower back pain and back issues this is it here so yeah a little bit painful sound might be a little bit different again now because i've just hooked up my mic to my camera so sorry about that um just made myself a protein smoothie literally tastes like a milkshake i've got frozen mixed berries I've got the Dose and Co Chloe Kardashian's collagen protein powder and water. Super simple. Um, but yeah, so the gym, basically, me and Robin have got a personal trainer twice a week and we're going to the gym twice a week now. We've just done upper body this morning. So we do two upper body sessions a week and two lower body sessions a week. And we basically just started doing this because we wanted some sort of sustainable fitness routine. Working out from home and doing bodyweight workouts has been great, but like we've just kind of stopped working out the last couple of months. We've just kind of, well, Robin had to stop anyway because of his hair transplant because he wasn't allowed to sweat. But um, yeah, then it kind of made me stop because I didn't have the motivation. Like it is really, really good doing it together and just having that motivation together to work out. So yeah. It's good, I, I'm enjoying it actually, and I'm hoping that this is just gonna be sustainable. And I actually think we're gonna keep our PT because it means that we're guaranteed two workouts a week. And then we can try and fit in another two workouts a week. And if we can't, no pressure, we've still got two. And also the good thing about what we're doing now is we're not putting pressure on ourselves in terms of eating. We're eating whatever we want, but within reason. So obviously, you know, we're sticking to healthy foods, trying like eating like unprocessed foods, really fresh foods, like fresh fish, meat, veg, fruit. Um, but if we want a takeaway and we want chocolate, we're not gonna not eat it and we're not gonna feel guilty, we're just gonna eat it. So yeah, that's kind of what we're doing at the moment and we're just finding that it's it feels much better for us personally and it feels a lot more sustainable rather than sticking to calories and counting calories not doing any of that i think we know in our heads that we're not eating over the limit and within reason but we're not counting or anything like that and it's just working so much better for us now so i just went to bnq because i wanted to get some sort of like beam or bar or something for the hot tub and i found a bit of black um what's it called kind of like decking like composite decking in black and it's kind of like ridged and it looks really cool and let me show you how good is this 
so it's like i can't remember how wide it is but it's like a decent size to put like a glass on there i'll show you in a minute but yeah it fits perfectly across the hot tub and like obviously we can move it so we could have it at the side or have it down the middle and then we can have like people around the edge and then we can all put our drinks or snacks or whatever on this piece of decking that i've got and it was only 15 pounds so got a glass voila oh my god honestly this is so freaking good it's perfect oh i'm tired today i don't know why but i woke up at like 2am because we fell asleep with the dogs in the bed in our big bed and they don't normally do that so i had to take him down and then shadow was barking this morning at 7am i have no idea why and oh i'm just tired but i have got a little bit of bridesmaid makeup on um just a rough kind of look because I am going for a hair trial because uh, my friend's getting married this year and I'm her bridesmaid, so super cute. So that is where I'm heading now, but I thought I'd sign off this vlog as it's Sunday. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this week's vlog. Um, next week will be on my new camera, so I hope it's gonna be better quality. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in another video very, very soon. Peace out.